Hey gang, it's time for another lackluster video by Homesteading on a Dime. We went up at the cabin for 50 days or so, 50, 55 days, somewhere in there. Uh, if you watched my other video on canning meat uh, 2019, uh, I came up here early enough in the year that uh, the frozen meat I brought up wasn't going to last, so I had to can it all. If you want to take a look at that video, I'll put a link down below in the description area. So what I've been doing uh, for fresh meat has basically been hunting grouse. We've been uh, blessed with a good population of them this year. Uh, I haven't seen any sign of any uh, hair tracks, rabbits, uh, but the numbers were on the decline. So I've been supplementing the canned meat uh, with the spruce grouse. Now this video is on a meal I cooked entirely in the wood stove. It's basically grouse and potatoes with uh, homemade gravy and uh, it turned out really well. I apologize for the horrible lighting inside the cabin. My cabin is not set up for filming things. It's set up for uh, just basic living and uh, skinning animals actually. Uh, so my, my lighting is very harsh and bright. So I apologize for that. I'll try to, to make up for it in some way. Uh, we've uh, had a lot of cloudy uh, weather as well so I haven't had any sunlight really to deal with and the cabin is really dark on the inside uh, so I apologize for for uh, some of the the poor lighting in the video but hopefully you'll find it interesting as well so let's just get on to the video and uh, let's see what kind of cooking I can do in a wood stove okay cooking this meal is going to require two uh, Dutch ovens here we got the small Dutch oven this one I'm going to be cooking the potatoes in I'm going to put a little oil in the bottom preheat it dice the potatoes up and let them cook uh, in this one in this one here whoops please please excuse the dirty pan here haven't cleaned that since my last uh, bread baking session uh, we will take this out and clean up the bottom of this uh, Dutch oven quick this is the large Dutch oven uh, I primarily use this just for baking these days but uh, I did uh, get a little sloppy in the in the cleaning process so I'll scour this out quick and uh, we would be putting our bird in this one with about an inch of water or so, I figure. And um, we'll see if we can't get enough uh, juices out of that bird to make a gravy. I'm kind of skeptical. I've never done that. Uh, but we can always add a little bit of chicken stock and make a bit of gravy for both the, uh, the bird and the taters. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean this up quick, uh, put some oil in this one here, and it's very important to preheat them. So I, I just uh, put some uh, wood on the on the or in the stove, I should say, in the wood stove. And we're going to preheat these. That's a very important part of cooking inside your wood stove. Golly, it is warm in here. It's about 35 degrees outside, and this place gets incredibly warm inside when we have a big fire going. But, that's just what it's going to take to get this done for you guys. See how special you are. Fire's just going gangbusters. So we will uh, check this again in about 15 minutes or so and see how she's cooking. After checking it after 15 minutes, it was going pretty good. It cooked for a total of, uh, I should say that the potatoes were done in about 20 minutes or less. Uh, it took about a half hour for the bird to cook through good. I had to take that out of the uh, Dutch oven to make the gravy. I put a little bit of chicken stock in it, about maybe a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. Uh, put in the uh, flour. Uh, mixed it with, with milk first, of course. Threw it back in the wood stove and it thickens up really quick inside the wood stove. you got to be really careful. It'll, it'll burn uh, pretty easily. So that only took about two minutes. Uh, I'm going to slice up the uh, bird breast and put my potatoes uh, in a bowl and then I'm just going to pour gravy over everything and just enjoy. And here I am using the Mora Niv Survival Bushcraft to slice up uh, grouse breast works good for that as well. Get around that breastbone a little bit. After all, you will be eating out in the sticks. 
That's uh, one of the best ways to survive is to consume calories. And while I'm sure it looks really gross with this horrible LED lighting, you have uh, spruce grouse with uh, spruce grouse gravy. And oops, let me try to find a good angle. Like, there we go. Is that better? Um, Oven baked potatoes with the same gravy on. Now I'm going to dish up the rest of this gravy and put it in my dog's food and scrape the the breastbone and get the rest of that meat off there. And that's going to go for the dogs. I'm sorry about the light. I really am. I know that probably looks like just god awful colors, but trust me, it looks pretty good on this end. Give it a try. Do it all in the wood stove. Uh, it's just a very visual way of cooking. Uh, the the hardest part was uh, actually the the gravy because it it gets so hot in there that it just thickens so fast you don't want to forget it just leave it in there for a few minutes check it you know every couple seconds and it just thickens right away so there you have it I'm sorry about the quality of the video again uh, it may not have looked very good but it tasted great the gravy was a little lumpy uh, I used flour to thicken it as opposed to cornstarch and I'm you know I'm just not as proficient at doing that as grandma was uh, I still get lumps in it and lumps and bumps and all sorts of other stuff and it just doesn't seem to mix up as well as cornstarch. So, But it tasted good. I mean, it wasn't gross or anything. It just wasn't something you would probably put on the Thanksgiving table with the uh, aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews running around. Uh, it wasn't, you know, probably Mar Martha Stewart worthy, but anyway, it tasted great. I'm going to do it again here pretty soon. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, hopefully it was entertaining. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.